We live in a world right now where everything is like proof-based, right? It's like, we're gonna invest in your concept after we see the proof, but we're like, how do we get the proof unless we can get the investment? That first year, I started every meeting with someone saying, I will meet with you, but I'm not going to fund you, and I don't think the idea will work. They might say, you're too young, or you're too inexperienced to be the one to grow the organization. They might say, why start a brand new organization when you should be working within existing structures? It wasn't we woke up one day and had a big, bold idea. This was an evolution of our 15 years as friends and the conversations that we were continuously having about what was happening in our community, specifically with the women who we loved who didn't have support. In the students that I taught, I saw myself and in their parents, I saw my own. I know that the problem that we're trying to solve is solvable with the people and the assets that are already within our school communities. We had been in the grind of planning and working on Girl Trek for over a year, and we're actually wondering, are we gonna make it? Echoing Green came in at the exact right time. The moment that they said, yes, we believe in this idea, it was the outside validation that we needed that other people, not just us, understand what's going on in our head. It was deeply affirming to have the organization agree that there's some potential there worth cultivating. Echoing Green saying, we believe in Anushka, we believe in the idea of Miagro, open doors left and right. The past 30 years, Echoing Green has really built out its capability to become one of the world's best spotters of next generation social change talent. Once we identify best in class talent, we believe a little bit of support and embedding them in our network is enough to get them to the next level. So from our perspective, we're not taking big risks, we're taking the right risks. Echoing Green says yes, because we just believe in the power of talent to make the world a better place. Echoing Green's investment in Girl Trek was so significant. It allowed us to hire ourselves as staff, to build the infrastructure that we needed to really go out and rally the additional support. The fact that Echoing Green gave us early funding, gave us a stamp of approval, said that they believed in me as an entrepreneur with this idea, enabled us to pilot the program, get some early initial results. It meant that we could expand our team, we could serve more farmers. So in those two years, we went from 240 farmers to 3,500. And then a lot of those funders who said, no, that idea is not going to work, are now funding us. And that was possible because of Echoing Green. There are lots of organizations that say they, they care about you as an individual, but ultimately they're investing in, in your idea. Echoing Green is a rare organization that truly is investing in you as a person. Entrepreneurship is lonely, and the problems that we're tackling are daunting. So being able to connect with other people that were traveling that road with me, being able to learn from one another and deepen my own perspectives, question my assumptions, has been valuable in taking a more holistic approach to the work that I do. If you fund Echoing Green, your impact is going to be so much more effective because you're leveraging Echoing Green's network, their success rate of picking successful organizations and helping them go to scale. Echoing Green has the resources, they have the staff, they have the network, and they have a commitment in doing good in the world. And when you're looking for a partner to do that with, Echoing Green is the best partner I can think of. Echoing Green has always believed that people with fresh, innovative, passionate commitment to making the world a better place and pushing back against the status quo is one of the most potent forces of change. So as we look forward over the next 30 years, the work of Echoing Green is only just beginning. We've got to continue to build our global network. We've got to find new pools of talent that we know are in community everywhere around the world, but just need a chance to shine. And increasingly, we've got to be a voice for what social innovation in the 21st century looks like. We invite you to say yes with us. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes to our social entrepreneurs and say yes to Echoing Green.